What's up, what's up, what's up? Good evening. Um, this is Christine Horn, your life and career coach. I want to just hop on. This is a private Hollywood bound actor group message. I'm not distracted. I'm on two computers and I'm testing out some new software, but I wanted to pop on really quick to show you guys something. And I just, I'm trying to make sure that it's populating here before I talk. Um, Make sure you say hello, say type a hello in the in the comments, in the chat box here, um, in the thread so I can just know that you're here um, because I'm here through a, another, a third party software called Zoom. Those of you who've worked with me or taken a class with me at any point, you know this is what I use um, to do all my teachings, but I just upgraded to the webinar version so I can do a bit more things online with you. So if you are here, pop on. I just wanted to bring your attention to something. Let me share my screen um, in the group. You know, I'm always looking for a way to, um, no, that's not it. Let me go to the group, Hollywood Bound Actors group. I'm always looking for a way to make sure you guys are getting what you need. Hey, Heather. Um, and so I had this post here um, a few days ago. Um, I put it on Monday, it, where do you feel stuck? And I wanted you to post below. And this is serious. I, I don't. I don't want you to skip this. You know, we're heading into the um, the end of the year, which is when I'm. I do a lot of my a lot of my planning, and I'm prepping some classes and courses and some uh, a lot of free content uh, here for the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group members. And I want to give a shout out to Lisa, to Jasmine, to um, Wendy in Cayman Islands, to Marilee to Lashonda, uh, to Gwen, to Terracell for being very open to Leone uh, about where you felt stuck. And because of this, thank you, Lisa. Um, I'm, I see that there's a big issue with, um, with branding coming up and, and branding and type. And even from some people who have been, um, who've been rocking with me for a minute. And I found that very interesting. And so that this is a private group, make sure you come on and say, hi, this is a private Hollywood Bound Actors um, uh, video and I'm testing out some new software. So getting your participation, just a hello would mean the world to me um, because I'm here to try to assist you guys further. Um, so I wanna direct you, the reason why I upgraded to this software is so that I can do some screen shares here on Facebook. And so what I'm gonna do here is show you where there is a video where you can get started um, with um, a little bit of branding if you've never taken anything from me. Cause I know Facebook is just so oversaturated. There's so much going on. So you'd be like, I don't know where to click. There's so much stuff in the group. So I wanted to show you a few things. Um, guys say hi, unless there's a, a lag here. Let me open that up. Cause I'm having to look at comments on a different screen but I'm gonna share my screen again. What's up, Heather? You just texted me, Heather. I haven't had a chance. I've been tinkering with this computer. What's up, Neil? Congratulations to you guys in Atlanta with Black Nativity, killing it, selling out shows. So, um, uh, hey, Kushada. <laughs> so, okay, my screen is being shared. So just for those of you for, who need a refresher, again, I'm talking about this post I put here about where you feel stuck. And I want you to post in this thread where you are feeling stuck. We're, um, we're in December, the year's about to end. I don't want you walking into 2019 feeling, st still feeling stuck. Um, certainly there's tons of uh, videos that I've done with Actors Daily Bread, but I, a lot of you have been mentioning branding and type. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it tonight and I have something in store for you guys just exclusively for this group. But just really quick, when you are here in the group, hey, Anita, hey, Andante. Andante, you've been a stranger. Working, trying to get your education and everything. <laughs> so when you come to the group, you see this left-hand side. I want you to click on uh, first of all, click on videos. And when you click on videos, you're going to see a bunch of stuff. People, some of our wonderful members who have participated in challenges and whatnot. But you will also see, just keep scrolling because there's, there's some cla previous classes that I've done in here that you can still watch, which you probably have not noticed and probably didn't even think to hit the video tab. So I want to encourage you to hit that. So yeah, you're going to see some other members, but I want to bring your attention to Shout out to all you beautiful members who participated in these challenges. I love it. 
Um, here it is. It's, it's this one here. It's going to look like this. It's going to say, you'll see, cast me. This is a 24 minute and change training on, on branding. And so I know a lot of you watch this. This was posted, gosh, what, when did I post this? About a year ago. So I am going to do something updated and I have something in store for you. So if branding is an issue for you. If you feel like I just don't know what my type is, I don't, I, I'm still feeling stuck. Put, put that in the comments, branding, put branding in the comments, branding, branding, branding. If that's not your issue, if you're having, feeling like you're still having more issues with auditioning, put auditioning, whatever your struggle is, put it in the comments. Now I may have a resource, I may have a digital class, I may have a free class that I've already taught. Like there's probably something that I have for you, but if I don't know where you're struggling, I won't be able to assist you. And just so you know, this is, this is privately in our Hollywood Bound group. This isn't an act of daily bread. Tonight I've been tinkering around with my new software. This is my shared screen feature. So this is very low key. This is just my way I want to tap into you guys, to my community and see what you need. Um, so what I plan on doing is um, doing some kind of a branding type experiment with those of you who want it. <laughs> so that's why I want to hear it in the comments. Um, and I want to look at some of these other comments just because I'm on. And again, this is, this is an exclusive HBA video. So this is your chance to say hi and to tell me where things are feeling a little stuck. Um, hey, Richard, what's up, Chicago in the house? Hey, Maria. Oh, gosh, it's so good to see your faces pop up on here. I'm having a look on this other computer for... Um, Heather, what's your good news? Put it in the comments. Let's, let's hear about it, unless it's like super personal. <laughs> but otherwise, I want to hear it. Um, uh, Andante says, yeah, I got multiple types. What do I do? Um, I just, he I just headshot wise. And I want to improve my self tapes. Is the phone just not, just not it? Oh, this is so juicy. So many things going on. Okay. It's so weird guys. Let me, I'm gonna take a picture. So y'all see what I'm looking at <laughs> and where I feel like, why I feel crazy sometimes. Hold on. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to show you. Can y'all see that? So I got like two screens and like one screen has comments and I'm like, ah. Heather says, finally got a manager meeting. Woo, go Heather, go Heather, go Heather. Me and, me and Heather have been working on this. Yes, Heather. And I know by now you have been, you've been hella intentional on exactly what you want. So I'm really excited to hear that news. That's awesome. That is so amazing. Congratulations. I want to hear some more wins. You know, what are you guys up to? Um, <laughs> Neil said, I better multitask. <laughs> this, uh, this Zoom is so dope because I use Zoom, for those of you who work with me one-on-one -on -one, and even in my group classes, this is what we use. But now that I can stream to Facebook Live and have the webinar and I can record that and download that. So, oh, let me look at some comments that were, um, I want to go back to the, some of the comments. But I wanted you to make sure if you haven't, why is that playing? If you haven't watched that branding video, again, come here to the left side where it says videos, click here for this video. And that's where we're starting. That's not gonna answer all your questions, but it'll be a start. Also, um, this, this training here was about um, script breakdown. Let me move that up there. This was about breaking down scripts. And something else a lot of you may not have realized, there's an area here called units. If you click on that, there's a way you can get my free welcome gift. It's like a mixture of a bunch of some of my favorite trainings in one spot. So just click that, it'll take you to a page, put your name and email address, and you'll get an instant download of my, some of my little trainings all in one spot. But let me go back to the discussion and respond to a few. Um, a few of your struggles. So again, if you're hopping on, this is an exclusive HBA video. I'm testing out some new software tonight. So it's real low key, but I want you to put some comments here. What's up, Reed Cox? You're new to me. Um, Richard Davis says a couple of his wins. He booked an episode of Empire. Hey, yes, Empire. I'm so behind on Empire. 
oh, I'm so behind. Please let us know when it's going to air. And he's also filming a lead in the web series for the next week. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Hollywood bound actors and he's in Chicago. So just because we say Hollywood bound does not mean you have to live in Hollywood. Hollywood bound is a mindset. And it's, a, it's, it's a focus that we have. Um, so in this thread here, I've been seeing a lot of things about type. And what I'm thinking of doing is having an experiment with those of you who are interested where you can, I'm going to put something together where you all submit a very specific video that I'm going to tell you instructions for. And I think I'm going to mash all the videos up and then you all are going to have to watch them and type each other. But I want to say this before I get back to some of, some other, some of the other members' uh, questions. Let me stop the share so you can see me better. And Prince is down here on the floor, so he might act a fool any moment. Um, just a quick about type. There's a thing in and this is even after you watch that branding video you're I told you about this is just an extra little tidbit. Um, we are who we are, and we bring a piece of us into every single role, no matter how hard we try. Okay. I don't want you all to get for those of you who are struggling with this. Okay, I don't want you all to get overly like make it so deep that I have to know exactly who I am in order to work. What I'm always trying to express to you is that when you show up, when I see Marlboro, when I see uh, Ursula, when I see Reed, when I see Heather, when I see Brian, when I see Richard, I'm automatically going to think something. When you send, when a casting director clicks your picture, they're automatically going to think something. They're going to feel something. When they hear you talk, they're going to feel something. It'll either confirm what they thought or it'll give them a new idea of what you are and what you're giving off. You can't control what people think about you. That's like just regular life, right? We can't control it. You're going to think what you're going to think, right? I can be super silly, but you may think I'm super serious and bougie. And the thing about it is we can't control that. So branding and type is a mixture. In my, and this is not a, some technical thing. It's just how I've broken it down for myself. You'll hear all kinds of theories on this. But it's a mixture of who you know you are at your core and who, you know what you give off. I've often given the, ex the example in the past where people were like, Christine's so standoffish or she's so, you know, she seems kind of like, mm, I don't know, like a little, I don't know, bougie or a little whatever. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm super silly. But I have to understand that I do give off moments of that. You know, I'm tall. I'm statuesque, I have good posture. So depending on how my hair is, it can give you immediate sophistication. So it's like, it can change. But if I change my hair into some big, some big hair or switch my look up, you won't get that same vibe. But there's still something at the core of you, at the core of your essence that is undeniable. And you're gonna bring that to every, yeah, and Dante, <laughs> I've gotten that many times, but I understand why. Cause I'm very, I can be very shy. Well, I used to be very shy. So I'd be very observant and that would come up as standoffish and all this stuff. The point is, who do you think you are? So before we get into what other people think of us, who do you think you are? Ursula, she knows she's funny. She knows she's quirky, right? Uh, let's see who else is on here. You know, some people, you know, Heather knows she's got that, she's got that little bit of the sass. She has a little bit of the, that bitchy nature, especially with that red hair. She gives off this vibe, right? And she's worked on American Housewife and some other uh, shows where she's played that kind of character. Don't be confused by what you give off being who, that's who you are as in your existence. It's about what you give off on camera. Like I do a lot, I've never been a cop, right? But I do a lot of these authoritative things because, oh, I, I know naturally I'm 5'9", you know, I know how to carry myself and I, I can give this no nonsense thing. So who do you think you are at the core? And then I want you to think about what kind of roles do you want to play? Now, yes, for actors, yes, we all want to do everything. We're not talking about that right now right? Okay, so Camila says, I know who I am. Now what? Well, tell us in the comments, who are you? So I think, I think some of you are expecting, and I do want to answer, Camila. I think some of you are expecting a box to get checked and then we'll know. But just as you can meet 10 people and 10 people think something different about you, that could possibly happen. What you have to decide is what you are going to sell. Currently, I sell authoritative and empathetic. 
authoritative, warm, authoritative, warm. Those are the two types of things I play. Either I'm an FBI agent, no nonsense detective, yada, yada, or a Harriet Tubman, right? Those all have something in common. Or I'm a doctor on NCIS or a therapist or a nurse. Those also have something very much in common, uh, caring, empathetic, warm. Two different things. So I'm aware that I can give that off. So those are the two things I'm selling. I'm not here to say I'm here to do everything. So Camila, Andante, somebody give me some, um, somebody give me some other things. What you think you are. We just have to decide to sell that and sell that. And so that comes across in how, how your hair is, how you, what clothes you decide to put on in your headshots. When I look at your headshot, I should not have to to guess and rack my brain about what you could possibly play. I'm not saying you need to be in a full cop outfit to give off a cop vibe, but you have to understand if I'm a cop, most cops are no nonsense, right? Step to the side, ma'am, step to the side. So it didn't matter what I have on, I could have on this turtleneck, but if I'm giving off that vibe, if that's the character I'm selling, then that is what I'm selling. So everything needs to work in line with that. I'm not going to be like, step to the side. And I got a big old, like big curly, curly hair and it's red. Like that doesn't even go together. It does. It's not even cohesive. Start looking at television like a game, because again, that's my focus. I'm just what the focus is: television and film. But look at it like a game. Think of it as if you're, if some of you have nephews or kids, five years old or younger. With how would they be able to say, "Oh, mom, she could be a such and such. She looks like a cop. She looks like a teacher. She looks like a scary. He looks like a scary man. He looks like a nerd. Like it's that basic. I don't want you guys to overthink it." If you have ever had an audition sent to you, look through the old breakdowns. There is, I guarantee, a, a, a thread between the breakdowns that you've been sent. For those of you who are newer to this, a breakdown is the description of the character that comes with the audition that gets sent to you. So even if you don't have an agent or a manager, if you've been on Actors Access or Casting Networks or LA Casting, and you've submitted for a role, whether a student film or something for free, even theater, the description of the character is what we call a breakdown, okay? So if you have ever had an audition, even if you didn't book it, look at the breakdowns you have. I guarantee there's a through line in the type of character it is. It's not just about I'm tall, I'm short, I'm skinny, I'm fat. It is about an energy because we can have a sassy aunt who is stick thin and a sassy aunt who's 400 pounds. It's an energy, okay? I'm gonna check some of these comments, okay? so I can get to you. So Camila, thank you for responding. Camila says, goofy, funny, comedic, serious, sultry, sexy, caring, concerned. Okay, that's a lot of things, Camila, what you selling? Narrow it down. Are you saying that when we go into an audition, we're the role we want? No, okay. Okay, Camila, no. So you named a lot of adjectives right there. What is your go-to? What can you do with your eyes closed? What is, the, what is the majority of roles that you get sent to do, to audition for? Are you, do you mostly go out for comedic? Because I tell you, if your hair is curly, curly leads to funny, right? You know, um, versus study television. When someone's supposed to be sexy and serious, their hair is straight, bone straight, right? Men, if you're if you have the scruff on you, if you have the five o'clock shadow, if you got some other stuff that adds a bit of gruffiness to you, versus if you're clean cut, it's it's that simple thing. Um, I want to see a follow up from you, Camila. Um, just because you gave me so many things, listen, the, and you, just because we have a natural type that we go out for doesn't mean we won't get sent other auditions. The key is you always show up as the character for that day. So just because I'm author I can be authoritative in nature, but if I get a role that's a sweet, caring mother, I'm not bringing the authoritative part to it, it being because that's my type. No, I just I'm gonna fit in. I'm gonna dress. I'm gonna wear the hair that I need to wear. I'm gonna have the outfit, the makeup that fits that character. And so that the moment that I walk in the room or the moment I put myself on tape, that's all that they see. But I don't want you to feel like not knowing, not having this solidified answer for any of you where this is a feeling like a, a struggle. I don't want you to feel like any part of this, if you don't have this figured out, it's going to affect you. What you'll start to see is it will just start to come. 
But I want I want to be aware of you just trying to only for my women, especially, we sometimes we can get fall into the trap of wanting to just take pretty pictures. Just be the character you need to be for that time. I'm trying to, I'm gonna come here to these comments. Let me see if I can tag. Can I tag anybody? And um, Camila, feel free to uh, expound. Who else was talking about this? Leone. Um, trying to tag the people who were talking about their type. I want to read some more of this because I, I, I didn't realize this was such a, a still a thing. Um, uh, let's see. While I wait for Camila to come back, let me read Roger. Hey, Roger Tyler, recently I've been put in the serious killer roles. <laughs> I don't want to be typecast, so I haven't went close to any auditions with that type of vibe. Okay, wait, 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 Roger. Let's talk about this. I want to talk about being typecast right quick. <laughs> I remember before I got to where I am right now, I remember hearing people, uh, my, you know, uh, people way ahead of me or reading books or being about being typecast. And as I've come up, what I'm learning is I want to be known for something. I want to be known for something. I want to start working. I know, I know what I'm selling. I told you what I'm selling, authoritative, empathetic. Those, that, those are the things that I'm selling. So I, those are the things I book most often. And why? Because I'm known for that product now. Casting directors who know, like, and trust me, like, no, I can call Christine Horn. I'm a click Christine Horn, Christine Horn, Christine Horn. And the roles will have something different about them, but there's still an underlining thing. When I played Harriet Tubman, there was an underlining authoritativeness as there was in American Crime Story as an FBI agent. Uh, the doctor had something caring and empathetic that I did on NCIS as the role I just did on The Good Doctor. There was a caring thing to this woman. I say B type cast. Let's get some checks. Let's get some bookings. Like we have, we every single person, think about the actors that you know, love and, and respect. Actors who you, when you see they're in a movie, you're like, oh, I'm gonna go see that, no problem. Because every time I see blank, insert name here, they deliver. I know they're gonna give a role that's blank. That's part of like, that is part of the, of their branding. We love Meryl Streep because she, her part of her branding is that she fully envelops herself in these characters, but there's still a part of Meryl that is coming through each character. And if you look hard enough and study, you'll find a piece that threads them together. So I say, get some checks, get some credits, like let's, like, let's do this. And then it's up to you to start saying no and then producing your own projects or, or saying no and then expounding from there. But I think the fear of being typecast is keeping you from making a choice and selling something. And this, what you need to sell is you. I am so clear on this right now. And I think, I think some of you are making it a little too deep. If you're unclear, just keep showing up to auditions. What resonates with you? What, gives, what vibe do you give off? Who, what do you know about yourself? And if look at the past things that you have booked, what is the through line with them? And y'all know, I'm just, I get amps. I'm not mad. I'm just like, I just want y'all to have clarity on it. <laughs> I just want y'all, look at my dog. Just chilling. What a life. <laughs> Let me go back to these comments. Okay, so we are gonna wrap up on Camila. So she says, so would I have to wear a wig or straighten my hair? I've been cast as like grandmother's aunt, someone's sensual, but what I really want to be is villainous or a superhero. I want to be personable. I don't get it. I should study more. Okay, I'm gonna give you some clarity here. And this kind of goes to, um, oh gosh, if I get up, I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna wake him up. Okay, this is this message right here is for is 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 for my um it's for my brown girls. Yes, you gotta change your hair. Your hair speaks to it. Your hair speaks to what roles that you are going to do. Y'all see my wigs change left and right. What my personal hair is doing has nothing to do with how I decide to work. 
Even Marilee, my Latina over here, I tell her when her hair is curly, it gives off one vibe. When it's straight, it gives off another vibe. You have to be aware that how your hair changes everything about you. Your hair, I have wigs that can age me. I have wigs that make me lunky. So Camille, you have such beautiful, curly, natural hair. That's going to work for some roles. Some roles, it won't. At the end of the day, you just make a choice because TV is changing where we do see leading ladies with their beautiful, natural hair. But I, but I understand that I can, I can take this off right now and put on something bigger and it's going to change my whole vibe. Just I understand because I study television like it's my job. I look at shows. Who's serious? Serious. Short hair. Serious. Authoritative. She's serious. She doesn't have time to be going to the hair salon. She keeps her hair cut short quickly. No time for all that muss and fuss, right? Versus long, weevilicious, no shade, because I got one of those, some of those in the in the bin as well. But that gives me my sensual. When I did Good Girls on NBC, I was like, I looked at the breakdown and don't be confused and worried about, oh, but my agent submitted this headshot, bump that. It's not about the headshot. It is about what that character calls for that day. My men, I have some of my guy friends, shout out to my friend Cornelius. He was like, once I got this goatee, it just changed my whole vibe. Men, goatee, no uh, mustache only, full beard, bald head, balding head. Like it all changes your whole look. And you have to just be aware, study television and see what vibe. So Camila, if the role came in and said, sweet mom, comedic, I would go with that curly hair all day. But if it was like sensual such and such and the blah, 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 I would consider changing my hair up. And it doesn't mean that because I'm, my hair is cur naturally curly that I can't be sensual. It's just a choice you have to make. It's just a choice you have to make. And also when you're doing these things, study the other characters on the show. Who's your scene with? If the person you're in the scene with in your audition, you look them up and Google them and you see how they look on the show, don't show up looking like them. They're not going to cast you. <laughs> if that lead character or that other character has big curly hair, don't show up with big curly hair. They ain't going to cast you. Period. Do your research as well to know how to show up. Um, yeah, Camila, look at those past roles. There's, de there's depth for each and every one of you. There is a through line with these roles. And again, be, I want, and Camille, you said something uh, that reminds me of what my client Heather used to say, um, cause she really wants to do, uh, she loves doing uh, superhero stuff and Marvel stuff. And you know, she, her dream role. You guys don't confuse your dream role with what's going to get food on your table on a consistent basis. Let that sink in. Sorry for the butt shot. Don't confuse your dream role with what will put food on your table on a consistent basis. We can all have dream roles. Some for some of us, we will have to create those for ourselves or produce those for ourselves. But y'all, I eat because I know what I'm selling. So y'all don't get caught up in the dream you got to eat. TV is a rinse and repeat cycle. Just settle on something for right now. It will change. What I played when I was seven years ago has changed. I didn't work in this hair before. I had a whole different vibe going, big crochet braids. And it was kind of, I was like the sassy nurse or the mom. And me and my team decided we needed to switch it up. Roger was like, yes. Thank you, Roger. If you can't say amen, you just might say ouch. That's what my, my business coach always says. So y'all, I'm trying to get y'all ready to for consistent revenue, consistent bookings, residual income so that you can start living off of this. Let's put the dream, and I'm not a dream hater or a dream crusher, y'all know that. But what I do understand, get clear on what, what people think of you. Because and I, Camille, I'm not picking on you, you were just, you were very vocal and I'm so grateful for that. Um, Oh, Mary Lee says I'm very French. Yes, I mean, <laughs> you know, you may feel sensual, but it's like if TV is not seeing you that way, then when I, I'm not going to fight, keep fighting for that. Let me get my checks. Let me get my bookings. And then I will write a role or get somebody to write something for me that I, I can live my whole sensual life. But if people don't see me that way, you know, I think there's this 
I think there's this thing of we don't seeking validation from Hollywood. And I don't want you guys to 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 do that. Understand that, you know, I had a client, shout out to Arisha, she's not here on this live, but I remember at one point she said, Christine, I don't know how to feel about this. The last few roles I got was Swamp Woman, Lady Number Eight, 80 year old somebody. She was like, you know, start to mess with my, you know, start to mess, with, start to mess with your your ego and your confidence. And I said, boo, somebody has to play these roles. They're looking about what can be added with makeup and what your age range could be. You know you're beautiful. You know you're handsome. It's not about anybody thinking that outside. Like I know who I am. So if I need to be ugly lady number three, fat lady number five you know, quirky lady number four, like I'm gonna need to just be that for right now. And that's not personal. Somebody has to play that role. Some of the best character actors out there, are, are, we know them because they played such fun roles and God bless, because everybody's not, we're not all meant to look alike. Um, you guys, let me know, keep, um, keep coming in the comments. Let me scroll back up. Thank you for hanging out with me. This is an exclusive HBA for all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? Replay watchers? I'm all late with that. Because this wasn't an Actors Daily Bread. I think I'll I'll put it on YouTube and make it an Actors Daily Bread because we're getting into it. But I see that I this video all started, again, what are you struggling with? We're in December, outside of it being a very special month because it's my birthday month. It's Marilee's birthday month. It's Kim's birthday month. It's, uh, uh, what's her name? Cortland's birthday month. Um, where are my December babies? But outside from that, I, in all seriousness, I want to make sure that you know the value is still in this group. These you guys give so much love to each other. I absolutely adore it. Um, it brings so much joy to my heart to see you celebrating each other. And the wins are so important for you to share, not to be braggadocious, but to let others know that it's possible. Whether you're in Baltimore, South Boston, Atlanta, New York, LA, Chicago, it's possible. So thank you for sharing your wins and lifting each other up, truly. This group is so special. And if you have a friend in here that needs to be in here that's not, make sure you invite them in. Um, so Roger, I think we talked about the typecast. For all of you worried about being typecast, go ahead and let's type. Let's be typecast for a little bit and get them checks, okay? Are we all in agreement? Let's touch and agree on checks. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, checks and residual income. And then keep producing, let's get known for something and be dependable and, and, and keep selling what we need to sell for a while. Um, Richard says, I feel like I've been booked and give off the brand, the silly, cute, uh, fun son. Absolutely, Richard, you give off, and just cause I work with you and I know you personally, and I, I, I haven't seen you, experienced you in person in a while since you've been to college and have gotten all grown. So you could totally have been changed, but there is a quirkiness about you. There's also, um, I would even play with, there's a sadness, that, there's a sadness in you that you, you could, and I, I know it's because we, we did a very emotional project together years ago, um, but don't forget to sell that. I think you, you could give off on the surface, the surface, you know, we all have to look at what's beneath the surface of people. You guys, if you start, as you start watching TV, watch something tonight. Well, it's late for you guys on the East Coast, but if you got Hulu or Netflix, watch somebody and watch the actor, but see if you can find the layer, what's behind the eye. And what I mean by that is, so for Richard, I know he's gives off, he's young, he's silly, he's fun. But if I want to look deeper into his eyes, you know, when we have a friend and they're like, you're like, how you doing, girl? How you doing, man? I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Everything's, everything's great. I've been super busy. It's awesome. Right? And you're like, What's really going on? Because there's something that, that's lying beneath here that they won't say. And that is a part of something you can sell. That's knowing I give off, I may give off silly fun on the outside, but I'm capable of handling something deeper because I that's in, that's in me as well. Um, so yeah, awesome. Let me check these comments. Neil is showing out in the group. Yes, Neil. Um, all right, all right, Marilee. Hey, Sam. Thanks for hopping on, Sam. Uh, hallelujah checks, yes. Okay, I don't see any more comments. Um, I'm not gonna go yet. I just wanna, I wanna, I'm really trying to touch on the other comments that were made about type. Marilee said, I have to, um, 
still not crystal clear on her type needs to keep digging with personal self-discovery and healing and then somehow combine that with the stereotype easy enough for the industry to swallow shaking my head um and then I asked her about her past breakdowns and she was like pretty generic, nurse 20s, 30s, young mom 20s, 30s, things like that, nothing substantive. So here's what I say to that, for anyone who's, who feels like they're in that boat. Oh, well, let me, um, did, I, did I tag Jasmine? Y'all be trying to, I be trying to do the most. I think, I'm not sure if I tagged her, so I'm gonna tag her again. So if you're feeling like what you've been going out for is just Jeanette, hold on. It's just generic. I beg to differ. It looks generic on paper. What I think I think a good exercise, and again, I'm still gonna I'm gonna tell you guys about my experiment. I'm not fully set up for it to tell you about it today but I'm gonna offer it to you guys, but I don't have it set up. I was working on something else today. Um, Anita, I'm gonna come to that question. Am I selling the product as you? Okay, I'm gonna come back to the question. I don't wanna lose my train of thought primarily or whoever else is feeling um, very confused. Um, um, Tiffany, what's up? You're not confused about this anymore um, because we're talking about branding and typing. You definitely got clarity on that after I work together. But when it when the roles feel generic, what I dare you to consider is that they're not. Why? Because you are not generic. There is something about you. So the beauty is a lot of times, um, what's up, Gerald? A lot of times casting, they don't know what they want, right? <clears throat> I read for something yesterday. I take this, well, I take this morning at the Ask Crack of Dawn. Um, and it's a new show and they were just like, they had a name and age range. That was it. It's like, what the hell? Like, what am I, okay. Like when it's just a name and an age, like, or nurse and twin, like, well, clearly I'm gonna just bring me to the table. And so you is whoever you are, you know, Merrily, you, you have, and I'm not here to go down everybody's list because I don't know all of you personally. And I haven't talked to you all and, and shared space and time with you all. But I would say, what, how do people describe you? What is it that people say about you? Merrily, you give off a, a tomboy thing around the way girl kind of thing but and also there's a in a an a, a warm spiritual um uh emotional um vibe like um but strength beneath all of that like a warrior pushing through right and so if if I were going out for a nurse, like that's part of what comes along with for the ride for that. So who do you think each and every one of you watching, who do you think you, I mean, who do you think you are? What is, how do you describe yourself? If we can stop looking so far out for other people to tell us who we are, who do you think you are? How do you describe yourself? Because here's the thing, we could all do an exercise like we I did at the SAG Foundation, which I've done with some of you, where a group of people who don't know you, they fill out a form based on what you give off, right? And if you're not in agreement with that, the question then becomes, is that what you want to sell? Maybe it was how your hair was. Maybe it was how you were dressed that day. Maybe it was the vibe you gave off. So if you don't like that, like, man, everybody said I look like a crack addict or I seem like, you know, a, an alcoholic or a thief. Like, if that's not what you're comfortable selling, then something needs to shift. Now, sometimes things are just in your spirit. I know when we did our Hollywood Bound Actors Live event, there was some, I think it was Gwen or some people seemed, there was another guy, Anthony, we said, oh, he seems a little shifty, a little sneaky, a little mysterious, right? Versus Gwen, we're like, she looked like she's a mean school teacher or, a, you know, a warden. That might've been Cynthia. So, and you may, and she may be thinking like, I'm the nicest woman in the world. But you give off scary school teacher. That's important for you to know. It could have been how her hair was that day. It could have been the picture she had. And so it's important. It's get the feedback, but I think also know just who you are and then just go with that. And things, I promise, I know it seems very kind of esoteric and not a, com a complete hard and fast, this is it. 
But as you get more auditions, I promise you, you will see the through line in the breakdowns. Your agent, your manager, if you, are, if you have representation, has an idea of what you're right for. Have you had a conversation with them? Because they're the ones clicking the button to submit you for stuff. So again, if you think, going back to Camila, I'm comedic and seductress, or, or, you know, or just maybe she's, maybe Camila was stuck on superhero seductress, and they're like, boo, you, a, you the mom next door. You the neighbor next door. That's all we submit you for. You're great for that. You'd be great on a sitcom. You'd be great on a multicam. You need to know what they're looking at you as because otherwise it's not gonna be in alignment. People have an idea of what you are doing, of what you can do. It doesn't mean they're right. It just means they have an idea and it's best y'all get on board. You know, that, made, that was the big difference years ago before I had a representation in California when I was, um, when I first moved to LA, for those of you who don't know my story, after I got done with The Lion King in Las Vegas, I drove to LA and I was like, I'm here, Hollywood. It was like 2011, 2010. And honey, I was not ready, had zero television credits, didn't know what the hell I was doing, was doing everything so big because I was coming from Broadway and theater. And I remember submitting on Actors Access for any and everything. Oh, anything that said my age range. It didn't even have to say my age range. I submitted for everything. And all that shows is that I had no idea who I was. I had no idea what I was right for. So you get, you know, it's like, why would you submit for this? And times when I produce my own projects and I play casting director for my own projects, I'm like, why would they submit themselves for this? They're not even right for this. They don't even know who they are. So some of you are trying to get agents, you're trying to submit for projects and you clearly don't know who you are. Your headshots don't speak to that. Your demo reel doesn't speak to that. Um, hey, Sandra Nelson, thank you, glad you're here. Um, let's look at what Richard has to say. And please leave comments. This isn't a one-way conversation. I'm giving y'all, I haven't even had made dinner yet. This is, it's been raining today in, so, in Southern California. So it's been like a cozy, rainy day. I've had meetings, I had auditions. I have been in this room all day. I tried to take Prince out. He was like, let's go out. Mm -mm -mm. I was like, boo, it's raining. He was like, mm -mm. I was like, okay. Honey, we got outside. He was like, I don't know what all, I don't know what all this is, but let's go back in. So I'm gonna get out of here in a little bit, but I did wanna make sure I just pop on. Again, if this is not your issue, Make sure you come to put your put what you're struggling with in the post, in the thread. Again, I'm just going to um, come back here. LaShonda, I'm going to come to this question another day. Um, Tara Sell was talking about branding. You know what I noticed? Probably, I want to hear from some of the parents. Any parents here in the thread? Parents who's, who they're, you're here for your kids? Because I know that's tough for you guys because your kid and your kid changes like every two seconds. Lisa, I'm gonna come back to that. Um, Jasmine said she's having issues locking down her type. I'll come back to that. So guys, there's this post here where I ask where you feel stuck, even as you're watching this and maybe when we get done at night, in the middle of the night, if you have an, something that you're feeling stuck on, put it under this thread here with this when that says happy Monday, so that I can come back, I'm gonna copy and paste them to a thing. And that really helps me, that'll help me do some more prep. Um, Richard says, I know we're talking about branding. Uh, no, this, that was um, that was just where we ended up, Richard, but anything we're struggling with. I'm struggling with the idea of moving to LA. I've been booked, ooh, this is gonna be good. Thank you, Neil. Um, let me read again, <laughs> I got distracted. I know we're talking about branding, but I'm struggling with the idea of moving to LA. I've been booked consistently here in the shy for the last two years doing amazing theater, TV and film. Chicago is amazing, but LA has more opportunities for film and TV. I know it's a personal decision to move, but I just wanted to throw it out there. That's an awesome, uh, awesome subject. A lot, there's, I'm sure several people in here in this group are talking, wondering about LA. What I will say, point blank period, and there's a huge Chicago uh, acting community here, Richard. I don't know if you've connected with Marlboro Foster in the group, um, Rachel White, uh, what's her name? Lanisa Frederick. We got a nice uh, Chicago group here that you probably should just do some good networking with. Um, and Richard's awesome, by the way. 
But LA is a beast. Just period. <laughs> Sandra Nelson says she's in the chair from the shy. LA is the beast. I remember Lanisa when I was working. Hey, Trafina. Um, I remember when I was working with Lanisa, uh, who came from Chicago and she hired me to coach her. And she was like, Christine, LA is the Olympics of acting. Like, it's so many things. In Chicago, you have your little niche and you have a handful of casting directors. And once you know them, you're all good and you got your theater. And so, the big question for you, Richard, and for anyone else who's looking to consider making that move is what is your true goal? So, you know, with Chicago, just like New York, you have the fallback of doing theater in between gigs, right? But if your true desire is film and television, certainly there's more of it in LA, period, point blank. And I've never lived in Chicago. I've only worked through there, you know, as a visitor. But I hear it's very close knit and very uh, small in the, you have the whole Chicago Med Dick Wolf, Chicago everything Dick Wolf thing and empire and some things here and there. But I would not consider moving to LA until you, I would make use of your small market. And this is for some of you in the Southeast as well who were thinking about it too. What I learned from being in LA and not being ready was my television rules this town, point blank period. It rules this town. I'm gonna put something here in the comments. I'm gonna put this link. Did it go? I don't know why I didn't make it a link. Why didn't it make it linkable? I'm putting a link to my Booking Magnet Academy just for those of you who are looking to start this new year um off fresh that's my monthly membership there you go it's only 27 dollars a month and you when you log in as soon as you enroll there's over 40 something trainings q a's all kinds of wonderful stuff plus monthly master classes with the sole focus is you booking more film and television especially specifically television beefing up your marketing and i i mentioned that because i don't believe you're ready to move to la without if you wanna just kind of save yourself some headache, have your TV credits ready. Have some TV credits, at least have, I don't wanna give you a number, have some, have more than one. Because TV credits rule the town. If you, it's a catch 22, you wanna work in TV, you gotta have some TV credits. And it's like, what, how much? So if you're in a smaller market, saturate that market, honey. Like get as much as you can done. Do student films, do indie features, do as much local, um, local hire stuff you can because at least you'll get that footage that demo reel will be beat up you know what i mean and so you won't have to you won't be starting from scratch so you can at least when you're starting to reach out to reps ignore that next that last comment <laughs> at least when you start reaching out to reps you will have something for them to see the mistake i made that i'm very transparent about is that i didn't have that i just thought my talent was enough and that's that's the, that's the ouch. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the rude awakening. And again, y'all know, I'm just here to keep it totally real with you, not to uh, shatter no dreams. I want to say for each and every one of you to go for whatever it is that you desire, but know that you're giving up, you give something to get something, you get something to give something, right? I left cheap, cheap mortgage, cheap rent in Atlanta, friends, family, coziness, comfortable life, to live this life, there's something you're gonna give up. Relationships, is the person you're in a relationship gonna come with you? Are you gonna have a long distance relationship? You got those of you married with kids. I mean, there's so much to think about. So you, get, you give something to get something, um, but TV rules this town. And if that's what you're coming here to do, have some TV credits already. And have a, and be prepared to do other things to make money. There's no shame. And we hashtag actors with day jobs, right? There's no shame in that. You know, trying to making sure you have to you have to be able to uh, take care of yourself. No one likes a desperate actor. That's how actors end up on the wrong side of the tracks, <laughs> doing stuff they and sacrificing themselves and doing stuff they would never do because they're struggling. And then when you're struggling and you're desperate, you're bringing all that energy into the audition room. 
And then you wonder why you're not booking because you don't even have room or the capacity to be creative because you're worrying about how the hell you're going to eat. So what you can do, if it is something that's a goal, like you were saying, like, I know, shout out to Sheena, she's not on here. My client who was in Greensboro, she's trying to move to Atlanta. You know, I tell people who are looking to make the move maybe in a year down the line to start building the relationships, start learning how to market yourself. This is, LA is a game. It's no different than any other market, but I, you learn about a hustle out here. You have to constantly remind people that you exist and you do it in a genuine way. And that's the stuff I teach full out in my Booking Magnet Academy. I'm so passionate about it because shout out to all the members who are in this thread, who are in that academy. It's life changing, it's career changing, it's game changing. You have to start understanding. That's why we've been talking about today about product. What are you selling? What are you selling? What are you selling? And I wanna go back to Anita's question because I'm not sure if I understood your question, Anita, if you're still on, on the line. Because Anita asked the question, and shout out to Anita who just joined the academy. Um, gosh, she said something about selling something. Can you repost your question? Maybe expound a bit, Anita? Because I'm not sure. She said, Am I selling the product as you? Yeah, expound what you mean on that if you're still online. So the mistake that a lot of actors make, and I made it myself, was thinking my craft was enough. And it's no diss to the craft, you need the craft too. So this, there's some actors out here who just, I'm pretty and I know how to market myself. I have like 50,000 followers on Instagram and that's enough. And it still is not. Yes, they will still look at your, your followers when it's down to you and some other person down to a producer session or a test. But at the end of the day, you gotta act. You gotta know how to act. Like you still need to be in class. You still need to study. So it's not just one thing. And I think that's where it was like, especially coming from the theater, my craft is enough. I'm just a good actor. People should just discover me. I should, they should just see how good I am. No, boo. Who cool. do you have? Does this person have more followers? Does this person have a better relationship? I've been marketing into this casting agent for six months. They finally called me in. Like it is, that's the work. That's the work that comes with moving here because it's not a small, tiny circle where you get to know three casting directors and then you're good. I hope that answers your question. And you know, I'm always here. But that is my blunt answer. <laughs> um, so, uh, Camila, does commercials count for what? Commercials are commercials. Nobody, film and TV people don't care about commercials. Those aren't even on your reel. They don't care about that. <laughs> Neil said, learn them. I'm trying to, Neil. Anita says, okay, she's giving me more clarity on this question. So I'm going to take a few more questions. Hey guys, don't be shy. I'm loving hanging with you. This has been an exclusive HBA. What's up, Nakia Nelson? You're new to me too. You know, it's so funny. We have like 800 people here in the group so far. And like, it's so beautiful to learn your stories and to see your names pop up. So make sure that you guys say hi, because I truly like insert little pieces of your stories into my uh, brain. And I randomly remember and get super attached in a weird way. Um, again, uh, if, you, if you are enjoying this training, this is only a, a touch of the surf, scratch of the surface of what I teach in the Booking Magnet Academy. That is my online academy for actors just like you. It doesn't matter if you don't have an agent, if you do have an agent, if you're new, if you're experienced, if you wanna learn how to book more film and TV and learn how to market yourself and treat yourself like the business that you are, Come on and join me. So Anita says, am I selling authoritative and warm? Someone told me, I love your energy yesterday. I know I have a special positive energy, but I don't know how to explain it. Well, no, I was saying Anita that authoritative and warm, that was me. That was mine. That's what I sell because I know that's in my wheelhouse and that's, that's what I give off. And those are the type of roles that I play most often most often. I do other things, but that's what I sell. You have to start selling. You need to do some more work and see what people, someone could love your energy and you could be sarcastic and, and jaded and be like, oh, I love your energy. Like it, it depends on who is talking to you and what they, what they like. It's about what you give off. Like Anita, you know, you, we've done work together, but you have a very, you know, kind of stoic, you're very like the analytical to the point. I don't get warmth from you. And that don't, that's not a, you know what I mean? This is all with love. You don't give off warmth. You give off stern school teacher. 
you know what I mean? Or by the book accountant or vice principal or banker teller kind of vibe. That's what, even just in the tone of, of your voice, that's what I get from you. And I know I'm not, can't do this for everybody, but that's, so you have to start coming, doing some, that work with creating adjectives and that you can describe your own personality. You know, just go to Google and look up list of adjectives. You can find a bunch. I did, I pulled some of that up. I'm <laughs> used laughing. I pulled some of that up for a, a agent class, a agent attraction class I just taught where I had a list of adjectives. I just went to Google and printed out adjectives. And those are the adjectives you can use to start describing yourself in real word in real words that make sense. And then what you'll start to see is they'll coincide with some of the things you get asked to audition for. But authoritative and warm, that was for me. So you're gonna have to figure out what yours are. Um, Daisy Duke says, I'm struggling finding work in representation. Um, okay, what are you doing to find it? Uh, Daisy Duke said, I moved to LA four months ago, but I'm, but I'm currently in Dallas until pilot season. Okay, Daisy, again, are you, what kind of marketing are you doing? Um, how are people getting to know you? How do people know that you exist? Um, um, what kind of stuff are you submitting yourself for? Are you on Actors Access, LA Casting? Are you connecting with casting directors via social media, via their, um, their mailing addresses? Are you doing monthly marketing, letting them know you exist, letting them know what you're selling? Um, Tony says, is film popular in Los Angeles as well? Absolutely, Tony. The difference, uh, there's tons of film here, but you'll see that a lot of it, like a lot of people be like, Atlanta has so much film. Why are you leaving Atlanta? It's like, yes, Atlanta has film, but it still starts in LA or New York. Like it still starts in Hollywood. And then they decide where they're going to shoot on location and they may hire smaller roles for local hires, but it still starts in Hollywood. So absolutely. Very, very popular. I mean, film is not going anywhere. Um, it shoots on different schedules. And the thing about it, Tony, is TV is so great. And that's why I talk about it more is because there's so many more opportunities. With every, all these streaming services, there's, I mean, Hulu, Amazon, Netflix, AT&T, uh, Apple is coming out with their own. Like there's all these streaming services in addition to cable, in addition to network television. There's such a high turnover. TV shows are shot every week. So there's so much more of a need versus like a big blockbuster film where there's one or two characters that could actually fit you. And then you're up against the world for those characters. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just more opportunity on a, on a faster basis. So that's why I love TV. So you have an opportunity to work more, but it's still, still very big. Um, Daisy says, marketing is my biggest problem. I definitely need help with that. Well, I don't know if you just joined, but the Booking Magnet Academy, and I'm going to say it because I believe it, would you, would you pay $27 to get all the help that you need? You don't have to have that cry baby smiley, that cry baby face on, the, on this Facebook thread. I'm offering you a solution. And anyone else who out, the, out there who feels like you need help, you have it. As soon as you log in, you have over 40 something trainings, monthly masterclasses with me. That's all I teach. I teach my, it's my mama method, mindset, acting technique, marketing techniques, and audition techniques. Cause you need all of those to succeed no matter what market you're in. We have to start. I was talking to an actress today on a consult call and she was like, Christine, I'm such an introvert. Like I don't like marketing myself. I was like, well, you gotta get over that. How people don't know you exist. You can't be a, succeed, a secret and a success. You can't be a secret and a success. You may be the best actor in the world, but if you, no one knows you exist, you refuse to do anything to bring attention to yourself, no one's gonna know, period. Marilee says, be amazing and incredible resource. Look, I'm gonna push it because I put, I know for a fact there's nothing like they're out, out there, period. If there was, I would be a member. Oh my gosh instead of spending the hundreds and thousands of dollars that I spend to coach with people when I have big things going on. You can't just look at yourself as craft only. You can't just look at yourself as marketing only. Some of you are good actors, but you're horrible auditioners. You don't know how to work a camera. You don't know how to seduce a, a camera. You don't know how to, to memorize quickly. You don't know how to market yourself. All that is part of it. So you don't have to learn from me, but if you find another resource, please put in the comments because I'm sure everyone would be very open to it. But you don't have to struggle. 
You don't have to struggle. And what I promise you, and I'm gonna go in a second unless I see another question come through the thread. And Daisy, all this is with love. What I know, like I know, like I know, like I know is my career changed when I started implementing all of these aspects. I look at TV like a game now. I don't watch TV just to be a consumer. I am studying it. When I tell you guys to study Mariska Hargitay, study Law and Order, study Kiefer Sutherland, study the people that you enjoy watching, study TV, start looking at television for the people that you think look like you or remind them of yourself. When you watch TV, man, my guys, my ladies, do you ever look, watch TV and be like, man, I could have did that. I could have did that. Whenever you have that, I could have did that feeling, make note of what that character was, what that character was wearing, how that character's hair was. Make note of that. Literally make note. Like, man, what was that? That was the FBI show that was on NBC. Hmm. And the character, she was a detective. I could have did that though. Why, why could you have done that? Well, she was like really to the point and direct. I could be direct like that. I could have did that. I could, probably could have did it better. Mm -hmm. But how was she dressed? Huh, her hair was pulled back in a bun. Mm, I, maybe I could try that on my next audition. What was she wearing? She had a dark suit on with like a navy blue top. My next audition, I'm gonna wear a dark suit with a navy blue top. When I tell y'all this is what I actually have done in the past, that is what I did. Stop trying to recreate the wheel, just put some rims on it. And guess what? You are the rims. Insert yourself. Y'all are trying to recreate the wheel when the wheel has been established. That's a tweetable right there. If I say nothing else tonight, hold on to that because that's a nugget if I do say so myself. Don't, you're not recreating the wheel. Y'all got to fit in, get in where you can fit in. You're not recreating it. TV is what it is. That's why I, I laugh about earlier when we talk about typecast and stereotypes. Well, that's TV, that's Hollywood. It's racist, they, they stereotype everybody. It is what it is. So are you gonna get these checks or not? If not, do something else. But this is the industry that we're in, period. So I can complain about it and, and create my own work or I could be like, man, y'all be stereotyped, man. Like why she had to be like an angry black woman, right? So th that's what the role may say. And I may do, I may give off the strength to give you that, but then I know as Christine, as the human, as the actor, that I'm going to layer my performance with something extra. I'm going to give my character a, th a, a third dimension. I'm going to create layers for myself so that I'm not shucking and jiving and doing something that feels degrading to me. So don't confuse what I'm saying, but you have to understand that TV already has a formula. It's cookie cutter. It's why you see the same actors doing the same stuff over and over and over again. They don't want to think. That's why I tell you guys, my actors, shout out, I remember when Marilee, when she was like, Christine, I finally, I had an audition as a nurse and I wouldn't have done it before taking this class, but I put on some scrubs and I booked this role. Remember that Marilee? I think that was the commercial. Like you gotta literally like make it plain. Oh, she has scrubs on. She's a nurse. Like it's so stupid to me. It is so, that's where it becomes comical. And that's the joy I want you to find. Play the game, make it more literal. So if you're supposed to be funny, what is a funny, you know, make that hair curly, have a bright shirt, you know, be funny. I'm not saying, Coon, and I'm gonna say that word, I'm not saying that. I'm saying get in where you can fit in because the, the, the segments already exist. It's why you see the same types of show come on every year. It's a new pilot season, but yet we're bringing old shows back. Like all these talented writers out here, all these great ideas, but they keep bringing the same show back reincarnated. Why? Because it matches a formula that people like. They like procedurals. Oh, it's a cop show. Who done it? Oh, it's a, it's a romantic comedy. Who, you know? So I, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Marilee, it was, it was a national commercial. I'm going to leave you guys with this. How long have I been on? Lord have mercy. I got to eat dinner. I need some broccoli in my life. Um, so do that exercise. <laughs> Y'all get me so amped up. I love you guys. I believe in you. Don't overthink it. Start looking at, that's your assignment for this week. And just period. Start looking at television and look for the people who remind you of you. Or if you see a role that you thought you could have did, 
make note of it and make note of the essence. It doesn't matter. I know some people are like, well, she was tall. He was short. She was fat. She was skinny. It's not about the size only. It is about the essence. It's about the energy. It's about the attitude of the, of the character. And literally make note of what they're wearing, how their hair is. That's what works. That's what works. And yes, some things, some wild cards get thrown in there every now and then, but just, just start there. And you'll be surprised at how things will start to shift for you. And when you start to really dissect it, okay? Who, Lord of mercy, is talking? Oh, all right. I, oh, Anita, oh, I'm on, I'm on it. My, all I've been eating is vegan and uh, uh, occasional fish. Oh, my diet is not an issue. Actually, I, I always I always get real clean toward my birthday. I want to bring in the new year clean. Yes. Oh man, this is awesome. Again, the thread there is here. Again, if you have found any of this helpful and you want to work more intimately with me at a budget that is extremely friendly, consider joining the Booking Magnet Academy. The link is here in the thread. And when this video ends, I'll put it in the description box. It's bookingmagnetacademy.com. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If you, $27 a month, you spend that on God knows what, you can get training, community, and support. Don't grow alone. Isolation is a dream killer. You sit at home, I'm stuck, I don't know what to do. You don't have to, it don't have to be that way. I'm here to support you. And when you're ready, the Booking Magnet Academy is ready for you. What you seek is seeking you right back, okay? So put some more comments here. I will check the thread tomorrow. I'm gonna get ready to uh, take it down. I've been in this office all day. December is a very busy month for me because it's when I'm doing all my planning, pre prepping for taxes. You know, that's a whole separate thing, guys. Don't forget that you are a business. So when I'm talking about being a business, I just literally don't mean like selling yourself the actor. I mean, you are literally a business. So keeping your receipts, your write-offs and all that stuff you need for tax time. Um, but that's a whole separate live. So I'm gonna go. I'm glad to see that this new connection worked with me sharing the screen and using Zoom. I'll be doing some more classes where I can share screens and walk with you walk you through more things and I'll probably make an event. Good night, Neil. Good night, Tony. Good night, Nakia. Good night, Anita, Monica, Sandra, Roger, Richard, uh, Daisy, Camila, or Ursula, Tiffany, Sabrina, Trefina, all you beautiful people. Brian, and those of you who watch this later, I'm gonna just go ahead and say hi to Denise and Tarnisha now, Stephanie, because y'all be here later. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm honored to be your coach on this journey and we'll talk soon. Have a good night. Bye.